Stuka Joe here. I'm filming uh, part two of Old sc uh, School Tactical 2, uh, the part about vehicles, and I realize that maybe this is a part of the video, the making of the video that probably you would be interested in. I'm creating an overlay for this image here of this Panther 5 in order to explain frontal and flank facing. And that determines whether the Panther, when attacked, defends with its frontal armor factor of 10 or flank armor factor of 7. So uh, I'll show you how I do that. First thing I do, I open a PowerPoint file, and I'm using a extra widescreen monitor, uh, which allows me to place both uh, programs side by side. So we're going to use a photograph of this video clip. The video clip is paused and you see it here. And uh, so I click here, take a snapshot of the video, and that's going to be snapshot four. Okay, so snapshot four, here it is. Now we can't just drag it to PowerPoint yet. We have to look for it here in our folder. And here's snapshot four. So now I drag it and it's ready to go. In PowerPoint. So what we want to do is create the two zones, the front and the flank zone, and give it different colors. So we will use a shape which is called freeform, and we start drawing here from here. We trace a straight line to the edge, this corner, this other corner, and about, let's say, here. To here and we want to make sure want to make sure the overlay doesn't go over the tank and there we have so that's going to be our frontal zone now we're going to do another one for the flank zone and we do the same thing insert and we insert freeform we start here click and drag all the way corner corner to here and here, and here we want to make sure we don't cover our tank. And there you go. Now we want to give it different colors. We'll stay with blue for the front. Uh, and uh, of course we want to make the, the overlay semi-transparent. So here in transparency, we'll just give it 50%. And the back area, we're going to use uh, orange color and also give it a 50%. Oh, so now we have our front and flank areas. Let's uh, create some uh, text for both sides. Let's use this word art here. And uh, we'll just type here front. And uh, make it slightly larger. Let's go to 66. And let's give it an orientation. Uh, something like this. Now we do one for the flank area. Of course, we have to write down flank. OK. Oh. So that's going to be our first slide there. Then we do another slide on which we're going to work on. We want to place some arrows to give examples of front and flank attacks. So let's insert an arrow shape. Let's take this one. And uh, see if I put it over this blue area, you can barely see it. So we've got to give it a different color. We'll give it a light blue color. And uh, to let it stand out a little bit more, a 3D effect here. Okay, and now... Let's say this arrow, we're going to point it to, suppose you're supposed to point it to the middle center of the counter. So this one would go there. And uh, we need another arrow to give another example of a frontal attack. Let's say an arrow coming this way, going to the center. All right. That's another example. Now we want to give examples of flank attacks, right? So uh, 
Got to change the color of the arrow. We'll use the uh, orange kind of arrow there. And let's say this one's coming right from behind. Let's place the uh, flank sign on top here. Bring the front. So that's an example of a flank attack. And uh, another example of a flank attack, which is covered in the rules, is in those cases where the line of sight traverses the, the exact hex side between both zones. That's also a flank attack. So now we have our four arrows. Let's make three copies. The last copy should have all four arrows. The one before it uh, shouldn't have this one because we're going to do a gradual presentation. Then this one shouldn't have both yellow ones. And uh, now this one shouldn't have both yellow ones. And this is so we're all set. So we have our five images. Let's save the file. Save as. Let's give it a name. We'll call it front and flank with arrows. That's our name for the PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation. But we now want to convert it to JPEG so that we can integrate it with the editing software. So let's save as. And uh, let's send the desktop. Let's send it to where we have our old school technical file, which is in D. Let's see if I can find it here, old school technical 2. And we'll change it to JPEG. So here we go. All slides. And that is done. OK, so now we will locate that file. Old School Tactical 2, front and flank with arrows. So we have them there. So what I like to do immediately to make it even more uh, simple and easy is just to click and drag it here somewhere. And we have them all here now. Let's blow up a little bit more of this. Let's uh, increase the size here now. Okay. Now we're just going to click and drag them here behind or after that clip that we have the original clip and we want to place transitions and I like this fading transition in all these uh, all the junctures here and okay so let's just give it a test drive here how it comes out and uh, full screen here determine the vehicle's facing. So see the the facing is original. important to determine whether the vehicle defends from an attack front, with its front example. or rear armor. The color of the triangle is okay. also Good. important. So, Red triangle, the one shown here in this, just a little bit the timing and that's all. So that's how I do these overlays with PowerPoint and I integrate it with the editing software. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed this and for all of you who uh, wish to do videos and add these features, you know, I'm an open book. If you have any questions, you can write to me at stukajo at gmail.com. So this is Stuka Joe signing off for now. Thanks for watching.